Hi, this is Patrick Kennedy, and I'm here at the Inspur Intelligent Factory in Jinan, China, to take you on a tour of Inspur's manufacturing facility and see how Inspur is creating servers for some of the world's largest cloud service providers. And by the way, this is going to be an amazing journey with lots of robots. In the warehouse, materials are picked from the racks behind me and then brought down to a separation station that will separate each set of components for a single node into an RFID box that you're gonna see go by right now. Those RFID boxes will eventually go to the robots that deliver them to the manufacturing cells, but this whole robotic-assisted picking program actually has a big impact. So say for 100 nodes, Inspur says that it used to take about four hours to fully pick 100 nodes worth of material, to take that material, verify that all of the correct components were picked, and then get it out to the manufacturing floor. Now, those same 100 nodes only take about five minutes to do. Components for each node are loaded into bins in the warehouse and then loaded onto a robot. That robot brings the RFID tracked bins to each manufacturing cell. From there, the robot actually takes those bins and brings them all the way up to the conveyor belts that start the manufacturing cell so the assembly process can begin. And so you're going to see that happen right behind me. Once the assembly is complete, the node is moved to the final robot in the process, which is the sorting robot. The sorting robot takes the node out of its manufacturing jig and puts it into another robot, which is actually the loading robot, which loads it into these material handlers that will take the nodes as they're collected from the node assembly line over to the rack assembly line. So the process starts on the other side of this wall in the warehouse where the right cabinet is pulled from the selection of different cabinets that Inspur makes. That cabinet is pulled not by a person, but instead by a laser forklift. And I'm told that it's supposed to stop behind me and not run me over. The laser forklift takes the cabinet, lifts it up, and brings it over to the rack input on the rack assembly line. And then from here, the entire rack assembly is gonna be moved to another robot that's gonna take it down the assembly line where nodes are gonna be installed and the finished rack is gonna come out the other end. Once node assembly is complete, the nodes are matched to their cabinet using RFID technology and another robot that brings the nodes over here to the intelligent assembly robot. The intelligent assembly robot picks the node out of the carrier, it then aligns the nodes to the rack using laser range finders and vision cameras and highly accurately places the nodes in the rack. This lowers the amount of wear and tear and damage you get on the nodes, which increases your quality. There are other steps on the rack assembly line, like this robot here, which screws in PCB backplanes into chassis. And that means that you get more accurate torquing, you don't miss screws, you have higher quality versus somebody doing it manually. And so this is just another step that's on this rack assembly line. Once assembly is complete, the cabinet is moved again by one of these laser forklifts. And it's moved into the burn-in area over here. Just in this facility, Inspur has over 2,000 square meters of burn-in room space. And that area is actually divided into eight separate burn-in rooms where Inspur can vary the temperature, humidity, and input voltage to simulate a wide range of deployment scenarios. Now, all the cabinets spend anywhere from maybe a day up to, say, seven days doing a variety of tests that Inspur hopes to collect data and find any potential quality issues. It also has big data and AI algorithms that will spot potential sources of failure both immediately and on a longer term basis so it can make sure that any rack that leaves the facility is going to be of the highest quality and not fail in the field. Once the cabinet is finished with its burn-in process, it's then moved to a final QA step before finally being shipped to customers. 
it stopped again. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Inspur Intelligent factory. This video was a ton of fun to make and working with all these robots all day and not getting run over by any of them was a lot of fun.